part two of intuition, we are going to try to get a handle on defining this thing called intuition. First of all, we know that rational knowing is enhanced by intuitive knowing and emotional knowing. Intuition is the ability to make the leap from the known or predictable to something totally new. It's the ability to realign known information or to see facts in a totally new way. Now, intuition seems to draw from all other brain functions. These both sides of the brain, all parts of the brain, work together. Creativity and intuition are similar. And Rogers and Maslow and other call creativity the highest expression of human intelligence. Here is the Wallace model, where you get knowledge, information, you define what you're looking at, it lays in the unconscious for a while, the aha moment where things suddenly align, you see the path, you see the next step, you see the solution, and then verification in the in the create in the Wallace model is where you check out your intuition or you check out your new idea and then you revise and edit as necessary. Three levels of intuition. Rational intuition, that's thinking that realigns known information, as I said before. You intuit the next step. You see knowledge and facts that are already there in a brand new light. New information sometimes is combined with forgotten information, but you see the picture. Predictive intuition, thinking that utilizes known information to form new patterns, new sequences, new ideas. You use this information to create a hunch or a guess. The perception of the whole is based on a small part. This is related to gestalt psychology, where you have little bits of it, but your brain naturally projects so you see the whole. And the third one is transformational intuition. This is the spooky part that some people get a little uncomfortable with, but this is using a different kind of sensing to pick up information. Now, this defies scientific explanation as we traditionally think of science, but here information seems to come from an outside source. This is similar to what happens when you are in a peak experience, as Maslow describes it, or in a state of flow, as Mahai Csikszentmihalyi uh, describes it in psychology, the state of flow. All right, this has been part two uh, uh, on trying to, or we've tried to get a handle on defining this smoky little thing that we call intuition.